The thing that keeps you going is like having a purpose. My purpose is, you know, my family, you know, or my mom, you know, or my, my brother that passed. That's those things that, you know, get me up at five, six in the morning that's gonna keep me going. Having a purpose, that's the goal. Waking up every day to get better than you were yesterday, that's the quest. Dave Alone, Tennessee Titans linebacker. I'm from Cincinnati, Ohio, man. Cincinnati, Dayton, you know, uh, same thing. Down here for a league week, you know, just going. David Long is one of those guys that you look at and you're like, man, maybe I can play football, right? When you see him, because he's not the tallest guy, he's not the biggest guy, he's not the fastest guy, but he'll hit you in your mouth. Check, 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 check. It's so important to believe in yourself, man. I heard so much negative stuff. How you gonna be a linebacker that short in the league? I heard so much of that, but I, I, I never entertained it. I don't about to argue with you. I'm, I'm gonna show you though, that was, that was the difference. Most linebackers in the league are around six foot two and weigh in at 244 pounds. I think people are a little mystified that a guy that's not the biggest, not the fastest, when you look at him, goes out there on the football field with all these guys that are considered physical freaks or giants, and he's consistently winning. He's consistently making plays. David Long Jr. is 5'11", weighing in at 227 pounds. I was 5'11", what, 7th grade. I was tall early, so I feel like I was going to keep growing. The, the coaches did too, but I didn't. And, you know, I thought I was going to get these big offers. They didn't come. I wasn't tripping, though. So, you know, I, I just made it happen with what, you know, what I got. Ended up going to West Virginia, you know, balling. In 2018, during his junior year, David was named Big 12 Defensive Player of the Year. By guess who? David Long, another tackle. You know, if you watch him in college football, I think, you know, that his last year there, he led the NCAA in tackles for a loss. You know, we ended up going sixth round. The Tennessee Titans select David Long, linebacker, West Virginia. Tighten up! I thought I was better than what I got picked. Special team, they thought I was a special teams demon. You know, I said, no, I'm trying to get in that, you know, that spot. So I ended up just working, bro. It's just, all I know is work, work, work. Safe from the field, in my second workout. I'm gonna make it look easy, though. He's not basing his success on, oh, I'm faster than everybody, or I'm stronger than everybody, right? A lot of it is up here with him. He's so smart. Believe in yourself, work, you know, and block out the noise. Like, that That was the biggest thing. And that was easy for me, though, because I really didn't care about, you know, outside opinions or anything. So it was easy for me to lock in, ignore, and just grind. Like, that's all I know is grind, grind, grind. You can ask anybody. Like, that's that was just the difference maker. You know, that's, that's the thing about David Long. He's not scared of anything. I know, you know, his mindset, he's fearless. You can have a, a work ethic, but you got some dog behind it. Like that's that's what is gonna separate you. Special guest David Goggins explains the dog mentality. A true dog mentality. I have a dog at home. I can feed that motherfucker all day long. He never gets full. It's not enough he made to the NFL. Be the fucking MVP. You can talk about a dog mentality. That, that's my mom for sure. A lot of people you know talked about my dad. You know, because he was a boxer. They are like, what did you learn from him? I mean, I learned a lot, but. No, I was raised by my mom. Shout out to my Dukes too. I love you. So it was just, you know, just natural to just go in there and just grind. And he understands the game. He has a feel for the ball. He has a feel for the game as a whole. So the Titans have a great one there, and I think he's going to be good for a real long time. To be great, you need to surround yourself with greatness. That's why David is in Austin and training at the Collective. Right now, we're back in Austin uh, for a league week. This is my third year coming down here. It's lots of fun, you know, the guys across the league, man, just come down here from different backgrounds, different teams, you know, just connect, you know, and just vibe. How fun do you long this? You're working out next to Micah Parsons. Obviously, he's a second year guy, but he's a, he was an all pro. Yeah, I could have definitely went a little heavier. Uh, the first couple just felt heavy. You don't, you don't never fall, bro. That's where God wants you. That's what I learned, bro. Hi, this is Dr. Sam Sneed. I am the clinical director here at Collective Medical. Speaking to him, I know that a lot of the benefit is getting the connections, meeting players like friends from other teams that don't get to see. <laughs> that first day, you're a little bit more tired because anxiety is taking a lot of energy. And then you start competing because you want to look good in front of, you know, in front of the best players in the NFL. We ain't gonna get too, too wild today. We ain't gonna get too, too crazy today. We all gonna get into some work, all right? Sprints right here on these curves, right? We're gonna have like a, a soft little buildup. Eight second sprint, 40 second rest, three reps, two sets. We'll jump off, go into our first block. For the most guys, like the veterans, they're chilling. This ain't nothing. Unless you work out with Jay Hills, your whole career like I did, his workouts are insane. Moving in three, two, one. You ought to be flying right now. You ought to be flying. Stay smooth, stay smooth, stay smooth, stay smooth. Three, two, wrap it on down, wrap it on down. You ain't been on one of these, huh? All right, all right, all right, look. 
So stay tall and just open up the stride. In terms of getting their bodies checked out, if you talk to him, it'd be a huge benefit. Detroit running back DeAndre Swift knows the importance of taking care of his body. How often does he get body work? I do it every day. I try to do something every day. Yeah, got to. Here at Collective Medical, we spend the time to do deep, thorough assessments of the guys. And since our boy's so quick, he likes to be on the outside edge, so his ankle bone gets a little stiff. That's going to give him a lot of tension through the lateral part of his lower leg, and it's going to make it hard for him to get his big toe down. So then we can get like plantar fascial type stuff. If we can keep the foot happy, then he can be quick on the ground. The standard throughout the league is to do spot treatment, and a lot of times the player will dictate. They're like, oh, I like needles, or I want this or that. And our approach here has been to do really detailed, in-depth movement screens, assessments, table tests. There's a lot of guys that are getting, I think, significantly better care in preparation for the upcoming season with a plan going forward. And then other than that, it's just the family vibe, right? They got stuff every night, whether it's the bowling, the go-karts. What's been like your favorite moment so far from the league? Bro, the bowling. Everybody competing. DN Charles Aminigu is a competitor and isn't afraid to bet a couple hundred to prove it. The bowling was fun. Trash talking. Alex Okafor is bowling his age. While the bowling is fun in games for most, last year's winner, D Swift, is looking to go back to back, so we mic'd him up. Hey, I bet you bet. Every frame will be. Man! What the <laughs> <laughs> I need a strike. Man. Well, I can't find it, bro. No, no, I keep you, switching you balls and <laughs> DeAndre Swift is officially out. No dub for DeAndre this year, but there's a bigger story the bowling ball. That house ball. And after leaving one in the gutter, Derwin James agrees. Oh, the winner of the first game gets to choose between two prizes, a Rolex or a Cartier watch. Because of that, everyone has to use house balls. Last year here, he said, don't bring your ball because you can't use it. And now you met. Did they hear that? Micah does not like this rule. Yes, because he told us not to bring it. Bro, just because you have a ball does not mean you're good. Okay, so you need a ball for it. Because that's what I like to roll. Bro, he, me and him almost got into a, into a into a little tussle. Not tussle, but we got into an arc because he got he wants to use his own bowling ball. And I'm like, you can't use your own bowling ball, Mike. And nobody else has a bowling ball. And Mike, like, he just wants to win, right? And that's something you can't teach, man. Come on, man. Hey, don't, bro, bro, y'all can Real. use my ball. Real a bowling ball does not make you good, bro. Yes, it do. No, it doesn't, bro. I've seen people have real bowling balls and still not get over 120. The ball does not make you good. A ball does not make you good. But the first game, I mean, we're giving away a pretty significant prize, and we got to make sure everybody's on the same level playing field. Oh, I said, really? David, if I can't use my ball, I'm going home. Bro. David said you can't use it? He said, people, I was like, bro, a bowling ball does not make you better. Yeah, you mad as shit. Are you mad as shit? Are you mad as shit? Hey, the thing about it is, you knew you couldn't use your ball. Because we said that last year. At the end of the night, there had to be one person who didn't care what ball they had. They were going to win. That person was Mark Webb. I'm boy Mark uh, Webb. You know he won. He chest pass and bowled a 167. I don't know how, but he did. Congratulations to Mark Webb. Got the Rolex. The last two winners of the two Rolexes have both been from University of Georgia. Last year's winner, DeAndre Swift. This year's winner, Mark Webb. I think they're roommates, too. And they're both from Philly, too. One more game. Winner gets a $1,000 cash prize. One more game. Needless to say, Micah is not happy that he couldn't use his ball. Can you 
Congratulations, Mark Webb. Well deserved. Mark Webb is the funniest dude here, hand down. He is a comedian. On the next episode. Mark Webb, AKA Gator as we call him, is the funniest guy oh. on our roster. It's all right, I'm working. Uh, and he's a great football player. You know, these cookies might got some ingredients for me to be great. You no, know, it really means a lot that Jalen Ramsey would come down for one day, you know, to support us in the camp and, and to be around the guys. I know he just had shoulder surgery, obviously, so he had to go back and get his stitches taken out. You want to see me in basketball? I heard you the one. 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 People ask me the other day, like, why'd you, why'd you even sign with David? The opportunities that he's opened up for me and the things he's done for me, that was, that was the best decision of my life. Like, I. I thank God, bro. Sorry, I almost get emotional. Shit. Coming August 2nd. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. My name is Devin Lowe. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Collective. If you like what you see, share, comment, subscribe. We'd really appreciate it. And if you're ever in Austin, come check us out. Thanks.